Hello everyone and welcome back to You Forensics. In our last video on blood stain pattern analysis, we discussed the history of blood stain pattern analysis, formation of a blood drop, enhancement and documentation of blood stain patterns. Today, we'll discuss types of blood stain patterns. There are three major categories of blood stain patterns. Number 1, passive. Number 2, transfer and number 3 projected now we will separately discuss each of them with their subtypes passive blood stains these are formed due to bleeding from wounds and the blood is deposited on a surface under the influence of gravity alone for example a drip stain is formed when a falling drop of blood from an exposed wound or a blood-bearing object lands on a surface. A drip trail is formed if source of blood is moving. A drip pattern is formed when a liquid drips into another liquid. A splash pattern is formed when a large volume of blood spills onto a surface. A flow pattern is formed by the movement of a large volume of blood on a surface. A pool is formed by the accumulation of liquid blood on a surface. A bubble ring pattern is a pattern having bubble in blood. Transfer blood stains are blood stains resulting from contact between a blood bearing surface and another surface. For example, a swipe pattern is formed by the transfer of blood with characteristics that indicate relative motion between the two surfaces. A Y pattern is an altered blood stain pattern resulting from an object moving through a pre-existing wet blood stain. Perimeter stain is a stain which is disturbed before it is dried, but it maintains the peripheral characteristics of the original stain. Projected blood stains are formed when a volume of blood is deposited on a surface under a pressure or a force greater than the force of gravity. For example, impact pattern is formed when an object strikes liquid blood. A cast off pattern is formed when blood drops are released from a moving blood bearing object. A forward spatter is formed when blood drops travel from an exit wound in the same direction as a projectile. A back spatter is formed when blood drops travel from an entry wound in the opposite direction of a projectile. An expiration pattern is formed when blood is forced by airflow through the trachea and out of the nose or mouth. An arterial spurt or gush pattern is associated with wounds damaging arterial blood vessels and blood stains are driven by arterial pressure.